friends. I recently did a how to use palette knife video and I even talked about using a gift card. So, and oh, and some plastic palette knives. You might want to check that out. But it put me in the mood to paint a palette knife abstract. So I'm going to take a break on my rooster painting here and play a little bit. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've got a 12 by 12 inch canvas. It's an inch and a half thick. I moved my video arm up that's next to my light table, but now I can't see what it's videoing. <laughs> so hopefully this will work well, but I wanna write, usually I write love on the canvas, but I painted it, uh, oh, it's close to a neutral gray five color because um, it dries darker but I mixed in a little black, uh, Mars black and a little white into the color just to help it go further because it takes a bit of paint to cover the entire canvas. And I want to write the word love. And this is just a piece of chalk pastel. And then the colors I've got here on my palette are Thalo Blue Green Shade. Cause I, I want, I think I want an overall light abstract painting um, with a little hints of sort of some bluish greens. And then this is Turner's yellow, maybe little bits of yellow. Oh, I might put a little black on, um, but I think I'm looking for kind of a warm white. So I put quite a bit of unbleached titanium out and titanium. So I really don't know where I'm going, but that's part of the fun. Alrighty, so let's, let's see how this looks. Oh, actually, maybe I want to put, so what I don't know is I want to work dark to light or light to dark, but maybe, oh, sorry, my art table's wiggling. I can see that. Um, actually, maybe we'll put some, so I hope you can see that isn't off camera. I'm going to mix some, I really like when you mix neutral gray with phthalo blue. I think it's just a neat color. And I may need to mix a lot more than this. But maybe we'll kind of put some structure in. So let's have sort of some color. and some dark come across here. So I think what I'll do is I'll talk a little bit here and then we'll just do a complete time lapse. Let's see where this guy goes. with a couple thoughts. Um, I painted this pretty quick so that I don't think too much. And right now I think this is a little too strong. I maybe want, I don't know, some more darks up here, maybe some yellows. I haven't used the yellow at all yet, but I dried it, I surface dried it so that I, and then I, oh, here I should tell you that also, I had a blob of blue paint here so I smooth that out in case you want to put a float frame on this. Um, and then I've dried this so I can paint the sides. So I'm going to paint the sides similar to this. I won't be quite so concerned with uh, the composition. And then I'll be back. I was hesitating before I turned off the video because I knew there was something I was forgetting. I've got this copper color that might look really good on this bluish green. Might be kind of fun to have some metallic flex in there. I've also got gold. I think I've got silver. So uh, just something that you guys might think is fun and you could play with too. Okay, I'm going to paint the sides. 
Alrighty, let's take a look. So this could be done. Um, if you like it, don't do any more. And yours is gonna turn out probably way different than mine. Um, we all have our own handwriting. I'm just su suggesting some colors and just have some fun and play with it. So a couple of things I did, I painted each side. Oh, that's still wet and then dried it. Look at my fingers starting to get dirty and then dried it with a hair dryer. but I've kind of got a little bit of a horizon line here. So I put, you know, sort of a dark area there just to kind of carry over. Because with these thick canvases, people will see it from the sides. And I did the same on that side. And then I also realized that I left more gray because I was painting a little slower because I was painting one side at a time. So I want to put some more gray back in here, I think. And then I just painted the top. But if you look at it, it doesn't really totally, I don't know how much of that's on camera. It doesn't have to completely carry over and match. It just kind of suggests. Oh, and then I think it's kind of neat to leave some sort of gray edges. I did that in a little cute sheet painting the other uh, that I did just a couple weeks ago. So I don't know if you can see the gray edge there. I can't see what my phone's videoing. So I think I'm gonna put in, back in, oh, another thing I wanted to mention. With palette knife painting, you pretty much don't need, need very little water. I'll just dip it in my water. But my water really doesn't get dirty. You need more paper towels and you need more paint. Okay, I think we're gonna start the time lapse. Oh, I thought of another thing. I started with this uh, knife, which isn't too big, but I couldn't quite, I don't have enough room to work here because I've got a side table here. So I, I went to a smaller knife. Use whatever knife you like and works best for you. Okay, we're gonna start the time lapse back up. Hey friends, I think I'm done. Um, I didn't use any of the copper, although that would be really pretty. I really like this. And it could have been done earlier. I just wanted it to have a little bit more texture. Um, if you noticed, I ended up smearing some of it to get some softer. So I kind of have three light areas um, and I'm just trying to keep you in the painting so there's more action going on in this area. Um, I put in some almost black with a little bit of blue and then I ended up, um, where'd it go? I ended up dipping this in some of the lighter color just to have some more marks. And I never, I don't think I have any white unless there's just some accidental white. You know, it could be kind of fun. So you can keep playing with it and you really just need to then start telling. Oh, see, look at that pop. Um, you really need to start telling yourself to stop. And now that I did that, I'm going to do, so I'm kind of thinking almost a triangle shape, kind of a square shape too. So I'm going to put one white where it's quite dark because that'll draw your attention. And then I suppose we should put one, I could put one here, but I think I'm going to put one up in here. So my hands bumping into my side table there. I'll make this one go a little bit more horizontal. Okay, definitely going to stop. So let me know what you think. So sometimes, um, I don't know, I hear other artists say like you really need to perfect and figure out what you're good at, like abstracts, landscapes, pet portraits, and they're not wrong when they say that. Um, but for me, this was really fun to spend an afternoon and make an abstract because I've done quite a few roosters and cows lately, which I really enjoy. 
but I think it's good for you to mix it up, try different things and have some fun. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this. Oh, I knew there's something else I wanted to mention. I have another um, abstract painting. I think it's called Pinky Square. There's a video for it and it's mostly brushwork and it's it's a lot of pinks. So it's, it's a different uh, look, different feel. See what you think of that one too. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching. I just love it. I love connecting with you. Um, thank you for your comments, art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.